Hello, it's Sinclair and Smart. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own LEGO instructions using a program called Blueprint. First things first, you will need Java 8, LEGO Digital Designer and Blueprint itself. To download Blueprint, you need to go to your browser, search for LEGO Blueprint and this link which says software and is on eurobricks.com has the software. Click on it. Scroll down to where it says download, right here. You can download it for Windows and also for Mac. So this is cross-platform and I'm doing this video on a Mac, but it doesn't matter. You can do it on Windows just fine. When you have downloaded the software, you can open the program, but you will not be able to do anything with the program right away because you need the file which contains your LEGO creation. To create the creation, you need to open LEGO Digital Designer. You can download LEGO Digital Designer from LEGO's website. I built this little go cart right here and I'm pretty happy with it. So, to make this compatible with Blueprint, all I have to do is save the creation. I will save it to gocart.lxf. It needs to be in the LXF file format. You can save it to your desktop if you want to, because that will be easier to find it. Press save. Now you can close LEGO Digital Designer. Now you can see that we have the LXF file here on the desktop. Now open Blueprint and click File, Import LXF, choose Desktop or wherever you uh, chose to save the file, press gocart.lxf since I named mine gocart, press Open. Now when it's open you can see that the gocart has automatically been disassembled um, in five parts per step and you can also scroll through this list here by swiping on a touchpad side to side or scrolling with a mouse wheel while holding the shift key. Now I need to make some changes to this uh, assembly here because I'm not really happy with how Blueprint parted it out itself. So you can select uh, a part in the list just by clicking on it and you will see that it becomes pink up in the viewer. Now, you can also move the part from one step to another, so each column is one step. If you want to move this wheel console right here over to the next step, you just drag and drop it, and it will place itself there. Now, I want to build a minifigure first, and not over here, so how do I do that? Well, I can right click just on the step. Uh, right here, and I can click add step after. I can also move entire steps by clicking on the step uh, image right here, and it will be colored in a red line, as you can see. Now you can move this entire step by right clicking and choose move, and with the arrow corresponding to the direction you want to move it in. So I want to move it in the left, and I choose the left arrow. Now since I want to build the minifigure first, I want to have all the minifigure parts in the first steps. So I start by selecting multiple parts. You can do this by holding down either the command key on the Mac, on a Windows PC you hold down the control key to select multiple ones. Now drag and drop them to the step you want them to be in. And we have the last one here, which is the helmet. Now, it's quite far away to drag and drop it over here. So what you can do is you can cut it out by right-clicking and choose Cut. Then scrolling over to where you want it to be and right-clicking and choose Paste. And it will automatically jump over. As you can see, also the hands are separated here. Cut. And Paste. And I seem to have forgot the head and the visor. Cut. 
and paste. Now we have the entire minifigure in the first step. But normally a minifigure is parted out with the legs separate, the torso separate and the head and the accessories separate. So what we can do is right click, add step after and now we can move all parts that we don't want to be in the first step. So everything except for the bottom, like so. Like so. Now click add step after. And now I want to have only the crash helmet. I press the command key or if you are on a Windows PC, press the control key and select the other parts that you want to be in the next step and drag them over. Now you can see that in the first step we have the legs. In the second step we have the legs with the torso. In the third step we have the legs, the torso, the head and the helmet. After the minifigure is complete I want to start creating the car. But I don't want the minifigure to be in the car at all times when building this. So what I can do is to right click and press create submodel. Like so. This, uh, the submodel is represented by a yellow background. You can also create a submodel within the submodel and that will have a red background. Now, depending on how you want the submodel to be shown, you can also right click on this and select treat model as callout. This will make it look similar to this, which is shown on the screen right now. Okay, I want the entire car to be in a submodel so that we don't show the minifigure at all times. So, I start creating some steps for myself, just some empty steps, and then I drag in the parts that I want to have in here. In the first step, I only want the chassis to be in. In the second step, I want to add the plates, which will be directly on the chassis, like so. In the third step, I can also create some, some more here. Uh, in the third step, I want to choose these two 2x3 two plates, since they will hold on to the 1x4 plate here and the 1x4 plate here. So I take this, I drag and drop them over here, and now I want to take this 1x4 plate and this 1x4 plate, like so. Then I want to have the wheels and so on. So I will just finish this off and I will be back right after. Okay, so I'm finished with the car. Now you can see I have a bunch of empty steps over here. To delete them, I just select them and I press right click and delete step. Now I can do this for every empty step that I have. I want to keep the last one since it will be the complete step, including the minifigure. Now some things to point out here, over here is parts that are difficult to see. Like on this one, you can see the steering wheel is behind the red curve piece. To make this easier to see, you can right click and choose step orientation, oh I'm sorry, step rotation, and you can rotate it clockwise, anti-clockwise, up and down. I choose to rotate this clockwise two times, so you right click two times and press rotate. And now you can easier see the entire wheel assembly. If you think that the car is uh, rotated wrongly uh, from the beginning, you can right click, choose model rotation. This will rotate every single step in the entire model. I don't want to do that because I think uh, that it's quite perfect right now. Okay, one last thing that I want to show you is how to create uh, a callout. Let's say you want these uh, two 1x1 one one plates and this uh, curved plate to be in the same step and you want them to be uh, assembled in a specific way. Well, 
Let's drag them over so that they are in the same step. Now we can right click on that step and press create submodel. Now we get that red step as I talked about previously. We will move these pieces in there. And now you can see that it's quite difficult to see those two black plates. So we right click and choose step rotation. And I rotate it upwards this time, two times. Rotate it up. Now you can see them quite clearly. So what I want to do is I don't want this red step to take up an entire page uh, when I'm finished with these instructions. So I can right click and choose treat model as callout. So I think the car is done now. I think it looks good. And I think the steps are all laid out in a good manner. So what I'll do is press page layout. I'll press generate from steps and it will automatically make some steps for me. As you can see, this first page only consists of the minifigure since I made the entire car as a submodel. So if I press next here, I will see the submodel, which is the car in this case. I can also see over here that there is a red step. This is the callout that we made. You can move things around by selecting them with the mouse and just moving them around like this. And you can arrange everything exactly how you want them to be. Now I can go through these pages. So this is the finished one. Now as you can see up in the left hand corner over here, it says page 4 of 5. And that's because the fifth page is a page where it has all the parts. So this is the parts list and it will automatically expand depending on how many parts you have. Now when you think you are done, when you have arranged everything like you want them to be, you can click export. And I want this to be in a PDF file format and I press OK. Now you get to choose where you want them to be and what you want to name it as. I want to name it as Go Cart Instructions, like so. And I want to save it as at my desktop. Press Save. And it will save everything. So now you can close Blueprint. I suggest you to press File and save the design before you close it. So I save it as go part. And this will be in a blueprint file format. I save that to the desktop as well. Save. And now when I close blueprint, I can see my three files. So the first file will be the blueprint file that we just saved. The second file is the LXF file that's from Lego Digital Designer. And the third file is the PDF instructions that we just made. So let's open that. And here we can see the minifigure, the car being made, and all the steps and everything what you need to the steps, and the last page with the parts list. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask, and I will be happy to help you. Thanks for watching!